This is a Game Caviar production. One of the main differences that I see between uh, Call of Duty and uh, Battlefield 3 and Medal of Honor is consistency. Now this isn't a hate video, okay? I'm not saying anything negative. This is just what I see. And I want you to let me know if, if you see the same thing or what you think, of course. Now, although Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 were made by two different companies, the basics of those games, are, are they remain the same. And uh, minus the negatives, everything else is pretty much the same. The only main difference between the two this time is that, of course, the time difference. Black Ops 2 is in the future, and Modern Warfare 3 is, of course, in modern times. And the the way that you set up your, your classes in Black Ops 2 is different. That's a first for Call of Duty. But if EA wants to directly go up against Call of Duty. I believe their strategy with Battlefield 3 and Medal of Honor has to be tweaked. This is the Battlefield 3, the new DLC. Uh, what is it? Aftermath? Aftermath. And I this is my I just downloaded it and this is my first time playing it. And it's cool. I mean, it's Battlefield 3, so it's going to be awesome. Battlefield 3 is an awesome game. Amazing game. I love this game. And I had very high hopes for Medal of Honor. Now, I do like Medal of Honor. But what I don't like about Medal of Honor is that it's so different from Battlefield 3 that it really kills the... the the online experience like I said before I don't like the buddy system in that game I don't I, I don't believe that you should be that you should have to use that I understand that it's a realistic concept and Medal of Honor is a very realistic game from storyline to multiplayer but some things they just should have left out I think that the two games should have mirrored each other a lot more that way you stay with that consistency. If that had happened, I believe that a lot of people would have embraced Medal of Honor a lot more than they have now. Because although, and, and back to Call of Duty, although Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 are made by completely different companies with different strategies on how to make the game, and the games look different and they are different on so many ways the basics stay the same you can pick up any call of duty that came out within the past what since COD 4 and you have the basic um what is it the basic framework of the game i can play black ops 2 metal of honor i mean not metal of honor modern warfare 2 3 um uh, what did I, did I say Metal of Honor again? Modern, yeah, Modern Warfare 2 or 3, uh, even uh, um, COD 4, and the basics are still the same. And that is something that Call of Duty does so well, and this is stupid, like I held the parachute button and I still end up dying. I guess, and that's a lesson learned, like I didn't have enough time to pull the parachute, whatever, it's a video game, I don't care. Uh, but the, the consistency stayed the same. It stays the same within Call of Duty. And if EA wants to really become a a good competitor to Call of Duty, they're going to have to get the basics uh, straight. They're going to have to keep that consistency. And it's not hard to do, but the first Medal of Honor, DICE did the online multiplayer. And I think that game was rushed. And I think Warfighter is rushed too. But if DICE had gotten with Danger Close and they had came together and had a set online framework 
then I, I truly believe that it would have been uh, Medal of Honor would have been a lot uh, more successful whereas people who have played Battlefield would have been like hey this is just uh, like a, it's like Battlefield it's not Battlefield but the basics are the same so I can honestly see myself playing this game and a lot of people have bought Battlefield 3 and Medal of Honor but not enough because Medal of Honor has not sold as much as possible now you could say that because Call of Duty came out, Black Ops 2 was so close to it, and Halo 4 and Assassin's Creed 3 and all those other games were so close together that maybe those people that they, they that stole some of the sales. But I don't really think that that was the the reason why. I think that the reason why is because that uh, the game didn't have that that buzz to it. Because if Battlefield 4 was going up against Black Ops 2, it would be all out pandemonium, and it would be you know people buy battlefield people love battlefield and i understand that but i want ea to understand that if you want people to love medal of honor as much as they love battlefield you have to keep the basics of what makes battlefield so great and import them into medal of honor and uh tactic what is it be tactical in how you add things into it while still keeping the the basic framework that makes the game popular the same but let me know what you think i'm not having it in the game caviar studio and i'm out this has been a game caviar production like this video and subscribe for more